Wow. Now that really is a nice ammonite in there. Look at that. So here is the fossil bearing rock and dad's old geological hammer there and some safety goggles to wear as I split down through this woodstone rock. Well, I really can't believe I found this fossil hunting surprise in this large woodstone rock and I'm sizing up the stone to see how I should tap at it to see what I've got in the middle. It looks like a big ammonite to me and I sized that up in the first part of this video, part one. big but i didn't know it was going to be something that big <sighs> wow now that really is a nice ammonite in there look at that the impression one side and the keel of a large asterosterus ammonite asterosterus confusum in that rock and that's what i alluded to that bump there in that rock and i'll have to have it prepared out from the other side there and uh, i'll have to go in that way probably even put this back on to get that. Ah, now look, we're coming close here and now I can see just below the surface, that wasn't there before, that must have peeled off. You see some ribs of the Asteroceros confusum ammonite there from the Jurassic and you can just see a basic outer edge there but I thought it was quite crushed but I think that will uh, lead in particular to coming out to the other side very very nicely indeed that specimen so there it is cleaved out an ammonite called promicroceros there and you can see really nice quality of the ammonites look at the ammonite just here if you very carefully pan around to where my finger is pointing just over here you see the quality of the ammonite here that ammonite protruding out all done with a little tap with my father's geological hammer there a wooden handled hickory hammer there to tap that fossil bearing rock open. There's a lot of rock there to do work on. It should have sculpted out nicely there too. We should work on this woodstone bearing rock. Wow, oh, really good one. So I'll show you the rest of the prep work as I get going on with the work in the next months ahead. I'll see this prep right out. Should be a really good one to show you from the Jurassic Coast, found at low tide. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct in all operation on the Jurassic Coast. So, have a go at low tide looking for the fossils. Beware of the dangerous cliffs. There's all the different types of ammonite that you find along the Jurassic Coast, all the different species there. And this Asteroceros ammonite is a really large one here. And if I just bring that keel of the ammonite around, the back of the ammonite, the top of the ammonite in this instance, there it is protruding out. And if I compare it with that ammonite plastic model I've got there, you can just see how big it is there in that rock, lots of potential. There is the plastic model again, and another ammonite, a smaller ammonite compared to that big one there in the rock. So I can't wait to show you that when it's being prepared i'll get that prepared up and show you what it's like well thanks for watching my rock splitting in this part do i've got so excited about the fossil that i found that i started speaking a bit of french and i hope you'll watch part three i'll go on to prepare this fossil with pneumatic pens and an air chisel and you'll see it really come up nicely in the middle of the rock i hope as I prepare down through the limestone rock and see how it comes out. So if you're enjoying these videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments below in the comment section about the fossil that you've seen. Any comments will do and I'll get back to you.